What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the Metal Rose brush set from BH Cosmetics. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts out on this brush set and also achieve this makeup look then please keep watching. So this is what the box looks like. It says Metal Rose 11 pieces brush set with cosmetic bag. It says on the back, create full face, looks like a pro with this metal rose. 11 piece brush set. The ultra soft synthetic brushes work with liquids, creams and powders for flawless application every time. So in the bag we have a powder brush, a flat buffer brush, a foundation brush, a crease brush, a blending brush, an angled blending brush, a rounded smudging brush, a flat concealer brush, an oval shadow brush, a brow or liner brush, and last but not least, a lip brush. I even got two separate brushes. I have this one, it's called the Brush Deluxe Fan. It comes in a big box like this. And then I also have a small tapered blending brush in this little box. This is what it looks like. It is so huge. Oh, it's so nice and soft. Okay. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right. So I'm on the website and this is what it looks like. It is $22.99 US dollars. And uh, what else? So all the information is right here. It is cruelty free. It has a pouch included and it's multifunctional. Think about BH Cosmetics. Keep this in mind guys, that there's always sales going on, so don't ever pay the full price. Every time I buy BH Cosmetics stuff, I always buy it on sale. All right, so I can't wait to test these products out and give you guys the real tea on this. I'm gonna start off with primer and I'm gonna use this foundation brush to apply my primer on. Alright, so that applied nicely. For foundation, I'm going to be using this flat buffer brush. It would be perfect for foundation because it has a nice flat top and it's pretty dense. So I think that's going to be nice. Okay. So far, it's blending out really nicely. Oh, I really like it. That was so easy. Like, I did not have any trouble at all. It blended my foundation out really nicely and easily. It took me like two seconds to do all this. So yes, definitely recommend this one. Brush number eight is actually a concealer brush and normally I would never use a small brush like this but I'm gonna try it out since it's supposed to be for concealer. All right, wish me luck. How do people use a small brush to blend out their concealer? Like I don't know how they do that. Yeah, I know this is not working for me. I can't do this. Ugh, no, okay. I'm just gonna go back with the foundation brush and just do that instead. So I'm gonna say no for this number eight brush because um, it's just so small and it takes forever to blend my concealer. But I've seen people who use this kind of brush to blend out their concealer and it works for them. But for me personally, it just doesn't work for me. So I'm just gonna say no for this and I'll probably stick to my beauty blender. So to set my concealer, I'm gonna use the number one brush and this is the brush, what's it called? This is the powder brush. Take my Laura Mercier. I'm gonna use the same brush to bronze my face up. Since it is a powder brush, I figured you can bronze with this too. Oh my God, it makes my powders so pigmented. 
picks up a lot of product, as you can see. <laughs> I love it. Got some on the nose. Okay, so one thing I've noticed, they don't have a blush brush. So I'm going to use the same brush to use my blush. Blush, blush. Okay. So I'm just going to take my Anastasia. Ooh. So number one brush, I love you. You're really good. You do the job very well. But damn, you pick up a lot of product. But I'm not complaining. I really like this. So good job. All right. So for my highlighter, I'm going to use the fan brush right here. Typically, I don't use fan brushes because it just never shows up on my skin. So I'm kind of hoping this is going to do something. Ooh. Okay, I love this. Holy, oh my God, that's beautiful. <gasps> wow, I honestly think this is my favorite brush right now. Not even kidding. Fan brush, you get an A++. All right, so moving on to the eyes. So they don't really have a perfect brush for my crease. I'm going to use this brush right here. So let's just take a crease shade and work some magic. I'm just going back and forth in circular motions. I'm going to take this number five brush, which is the blending brush, and I'm just going to soften out the edges with this. All right, it did the job. Good for you, number five. I don't know if you can see how much product it picks up, but it is quite a lot. So just keep that in mind because you will be blending for hours. <laughs> All right, so I'm having a little trouble because there's just certain brushes that they don't have that I would need. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go back with that number five brush. So what I'm going to do is just place the product right there. Then I'm going to take my round smudging brush and just diffuse that. I think that's the best we can do. Number nine. Now I'm just gonna take this oval shadow brush. Ooh, okay. Look at that. So number nine, A plus to you, because look at this. This is stunning. Take this number six and highlight my brow bone. All right, so I'm just gonna apply some false lashes and lipstick and I'll be right back. Oh my God. I'm just struggling with this lipstick. Oh. You know when you commit to a dark color on your lips, there's no turning back. All right, so I'm back. If my lips look really patchy and blotchy, that's because it is. So forget about my lips. Don't look at it. Pretend that it's not there. All right, so here are my overall thoughts on the brushes. So first off, I want to say that the fan is definitely my favorite. It took me by surprise. I didn't think it was going to exceed my expectations on it. And honestly, I really like it. I like the fact that it's like nice and thick. So it gets a lot of product in there and it is so easy to apply on your face. Just one swipe and you're done. As for the whole collection in general, I really did enjoy these brushes. It really works well with liquid and powders, which I absolutely love that. The only few things that I didn't like about this set is that it didn't come with a blush brush, which is something that's pretty necessary in my opinion. And also they're missing a few uh, blending brushes for the crease. The ones that they provide is pretty great, but I definitely want something a little bit more fluffier, a little bigger, for example, like this. I think every single kit should have a brush like this. 
that way it's easier to work in the crease these ones you just have to work a little bit harder and the fact that they pick up a lot of pigment but other than that i think this whole collection is great i think you guys should try it out um, it definitely is very neck and neck to Morphe brushes. I have some Morphe brushes here and they perform the exact same way, if not better, because it is a lot more affordable than Morphe brushes. So if you guys are looking for affordable brushes to start off with, then I definitely recommend this 1000%. So that is all for my video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making this video for you guys. And if you guys want me to do more reviews or recommend other products, then let me know. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.